Hey, travelers. Did that, did that really scare you that time? Nice. Yeah. I caught that out of the corner of my eye. It's like, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Back for another week. And uh, even though we're not dressed for it, we're doing Christmas beers. Like that a way, red shirt. Well, way to be. Yeah. I'm wearing Mario. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. Christmassy. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of Mario played, stuff gets sold. I played there. a lot of Mario on Christmas, you yeah, know, or around Christmas, yeah. So, uh, so we're in pre- in preparation for Christmas. We're gonna we're gonna highlight a few beers mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Uh, a few beers that I picked up from our favorite place in town, the Coffee Grounds. <laughs> yeah, go over and see Candace. Yeah. Uh-uh. Well, you can go in there and you can get beer, cheese, booze, booze, coffee. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah. Well, coffee. I, mean, yeah. I mean, it's coffee. I, I like coffee, but I mean, they have a brewery inside the building. They too. do. K Point. Yeah. Yeah. K Point's right in there too. So yeah, go check them out if you're ever in the Eau Claire area. Tell them. Uh, tell them we sent you. It'll get you nothing. Except it, yeah, it'll get you absolutely it'll get nothing. You a warm smile. Yes. And who doesn't love warm smiles? Yeah, not a cold one. Right. It's too cold outside as is. Super nice people there though. <laughs> Should definitely go there. Get some beer. Um. We can talk about the hot passport again. I know we've hammered you guys with this uh, over and over and over again, but seriously. I think the hot passport is a good way to get hammered because you get hell of a deals on beer. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're right. Two for one oh. deals, by the way. That one hurt to say. I'm not going to I, I tried. I tried to give you a fake <sighs> laugh, and I just... <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't muster up I a real one. I regret everything of that just Good. transpired Good. here. I'm, as long as you regret it, we can forgive you. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, the, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Hot Passport, if you go to hotpassport.com, use the promo code TAPROOM TRAVELERS. It'll get you $5 off. And it'll get you all kinds of beer at some great breweries. Giddy up. Giddy up. And uh, you go into the the description below after you're watching the video and everything and you can find all the information there so this beer that troy's opening is from sierra nevada it's called celebration it's not my favorite style of beer it's an ipa i'm assuming right yes <laughs> i actually knew that you're I just, correct I was baiting it's, you. it's a fresh hop ipa no but <laughs> it's got it's got a log cabin with snow on it i thought geez it's oh, got geez. a it's christmas oh geez there yeah so th- I think the the exciting part about the the Sierra Nevada celebration is that it's a very different style than most Christmas beers. Most Christmas beers tend to be darker, boozier, more spiced, and this is a fresh hop, which makes sense because hops are harvested in the fall. So yeah. there's fresh hops at this time of year because we're still technically in fall. Not in Wisconsin. I mean, yeah. I mean, technically Maybe. on the calendar. It's I a, mean, on the calendar. On yeah. Paper. Wisconsin hasn't been in fall. We didn't at have all. A, we, we didn't have one. We had it for forty five minutes about two <laughs> two months ago. Two months ago we had it for forty five minutes. That was yeah, good. That was a I nice enjoyed day, it. That, that was, was a great. nice forty five minutes. I went outside and I went, huh. Yeah. Look at and this. then it was done. Yeah, and then it snowed. <laughs> if you if you don't live in Wisconsin and you want to experience a Wisconsin winter, <laughs> you're a sick human. <laughs> <laughs> don't come here in the winter. That's terrible. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so you, you've had this before I take it. It's been a good spell though. Well, so this is 2018's version. I'm so. pretty excited. You know, cause fresh hops, I, I, I can't speak for Sierra Nevada. I, for, I know for a fact they have a pretty high quality control program, Yeah. but I think kind of the fun part of fresh hopping a beer is that you're every year it's more of a vintage as opposed to a consistent beer. Right. And then, you know, beer as opposed to wine, we go for uh, consistency batch after batch. So it's always fun when a brewery has a beer that they're not restricted by that, and they just let the natural agricultural terroir and all that stuff of the hops take over and just say, well, this is what it is this year. That's so, great. Yeah. Yeah. I I get excited for those sort of things. Only a true beer nerd would be like, oh. Terroir. Oh, yeah. You know, for an IPA, it's rather malty. I'd say that has a... You know, if we're going to go based on... Updated classifications, subcategory classifications of IPA. This would almost be considered a Midwest IPA. I yeah. would say. That nice yeah. malt backbone in there yeah. mixed with the, the that hop. I can't tell what hop it is, to be honest with you, though. It's not Citra. I can tell you that. I'm going to guess like a, um, it's more piney, has a bit more of a resin. Yeah. So I'd say more of a Columbus or a Cascade. That's just me guessing. That. Might be completely wrong. If you know, comment below. Yeah. I mean, I could read the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Who reads you anymore? Guys, if you wanted us to read bottles, just go get a bottle. What do you think? I'm in high school, college. <laughs> I I gave up reading a long time ago. <laughs> Books on tape, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> get those I don't even I don't even do that. <laughs> if it's good enough to make into a movie, I'll watch the movie and that that's about it. Still a really pleasant beer though. It's a uh, you know, it's a uh, looking at it though, it's nice and clear, which is an odd sentence to say now in the world of IPAs, right. but it's golden. But everyone's kind of going for the the haze, so it's always nice to get an IPA that's like, oh yeah, you yeah, know, filtering. That's yep. cool. You can still do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is a thing. Uh, yeah. So for those of you that that are IPA drinkers that just can't bring yourself to drink anything other than an IPA, even for Christmas, that's your beer. And Sierra Nevada is a solid brewery. I mean, yeah, they are probably one of the top ten. You know, godfathers of they're the, they're doing that resilience thing now that uh, everybody's brewing the same beer from Sierra Nevada. Did you not know about? No, that? I do not know about. Wow. That. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I only have so much time in my day, Landon. Well, that, I guess that's why I stay up to date, and then I can inform you when we do these things yeah. on on uh, current events and uh, musicians and all all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. Like Greg Frank, Zappa. Fra- Frank Zappa. Oh. <laughs> Greg Greg, Greg Greg is his brother. <laughs> Greg. His normal brother. He was yeah. a used car salesman, actually. <laughs> he was a used car salesman. He <laughs> could have sang. Actually, he was a much better singer than Frank. But he just couldn't get his couldn't get his nose out of the coke, nope, huh? Just yeah. couldn't. No. Nope. Yeah. It's a hell of a drug. Anyway. Uh where the heck was I going with that? You really threw me for a loop. Anyway, uh resilience. Oh, so, yeah. you know, the fires out in California. Oh yeah. They they made a beer for it and then all of these other breweries are also making the same beer, so they gave them the, the recipe for it. All of the money from that beer is being donated to the people that were affected by oh, the fire. That is quite nice. Right? Yeah. So I think um, we have a few around here. I think uh, I could be wrong if Brewing Project might be doing it. Um, a lot of cities breweries are doing it. I think... And um, what style of beer is it? It's an IPA. I IPA. Think. Or pale ale, yeah. I mean, Sierra Nevada really <clears throat> pioneered that whole genre. One of the pioneers of that genre, the using hops, you know, in the pale ales, not IPA. Yep. It's actually crazy now to think you can drink a Sierra Nevada pale ale, and you're like, oh, this is barely hoppy, but like 20 years ago, it was just blowing people's minds. Oh, yeah. Much yeah. like this beer. I'm sure like whenever they first made this, it probably blew people's minds, but now we're like, oh, it's kind of a Midwest IPA. No, I remember when I first had Sierra Nevada, I went, oh, man, that's too hoppy for me. <laughs> that beer- is, it pales in comparison with some of the stuff that's out there now. I like the pun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah I remember my first, the first IPA that I drank that made me go, oh, this is what hops tastes like was a green flash. Yeah. And I remember drinking that beer like a couple months ago, and I'm going, huh? This is the beer, huh? Not so much. This one now? Yeah. I remember back in the day, I couldn't even finish. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> so... Uh, how times have changed. Yeah, right. So this next one I bought merely just because of the the picture on it. It's called Reindeer's Revolt. Oh yeah. Uh, it's an English Christmas ale. So when I thought of an English beer, I thought of Troy, of course, because uh, I'm the only. You were I. I like I like English beers. I but you are the man that just goes. Ugh, I really want an English style uh, beer. I want a beer with a little dirt in it. Yeah. Who no doesn't? One right. <laughs> no. You know what this beer could use? Some dust. A little bit of dirt. Some uh, some cellar. Let's get some cobwebs. Just, let's just get some of those kind of gross English hops in here, and I'll be excited. It's weird. I don't so know why. So I'll read the description on this. I can still read. Oh. Um, it's from Ridgeway Brewing, which I have no idea where they're out of. Never so heard could, of them. Uh, Massachusetts, Maine, Maine. Uh, bartender, if anybody calls, I'm not here, right? Oh, that's it's the a story about a reindeer who doesn't yeah. want to. Fly around in a sleigh. Yeah. Actually, so this is a product of the UK. So it's uh, bottled by Ridgeway, but it's from Oxfordshire, Oxfordshire, UK. So this doesn't look like a Christmas beer that I was expecting out of this bottle. That is a clear looking, almost like a Pilsner or Hellas. I was expecting something a little more red. I was expecting a little more brown. So we're, red, both, brown. we're both caught off guard on this one, I suppose. I get some... Almost like uh, Saw's hops in there, kind of that earthy, yeah. pilsnery hop. Maybe it's dirty hops. Oh, that is interesting. I would say if I had to describe a beer that is close to this, I would say Stella Artois. Um, kind of that. It's kinda, not as light as Stella is. No, yeah, but Stella, 
at its core, when it Stella Artois is a Christmas beer that just became so popular, it became their only beer. Oh, and this kind of reminds me of like a Christmas Pilsner. I can honestly have never, I've never had a good Stella. So, well, I mean, there's no such thing as a good Stella. Okay, yeah. well, there you go. But I'm just, it reminds me of that genre of like a Christmas lager or a light Christmas beer. Without all the extra crap, you don't have to do the twelve steps before you can get it in your glass. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to. You don't have to do a yeah. sacrifice and a, a plunge and yeah. a, oh! you don't have to put the little skirt on it. Yeah, and then present it all get like a, get a. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. You get to watch. The I've movie. also never had anybody do that. No. I've watched people pour a Stella before, and they just go over there and pour it just the same as anything else. I, I one time watched the World Championships of. Stella pouring. There's was that on ESPN the eight, eight the Ocho? <laughs> <laughs> it was on YouTube. Oh, yeah. dang it! Which is probably, you know, better or worse depending on how you look at it. Yeah. But it was a uh, there was a national or not national, uh, worldwide Stella pouring competition, and a guy from Chicago won it a couple years ago. So I watched okay. him. Sure. Because a didn't know it was a thing, and I'm like, well, I gotta see the. What? But they have to have, you have to present it a certain way, and it's all mm. sounds terrible. So. Yeah, this beer's fine. <laughs> that's, that's a real ringing endorsement. It's fine. It's fine. It is a Christmassy. I mean, it's got a little bit of spice in it. It's not very much at the finish. A little. It's not. Spice. It's not overly spiced. So I would say if you're a Stella fan and you don't like overspice, but yet you still still want to say, "Hey, I drank a Christmas beer." There you go. You know, this can also be a good Christmas beer to take to a family who doesn't necessarily love flavorful beers. And let's be honest: if you live in the Midwest. That's most you, of your family. You probably come from a family that doesn't like most beers. So you're probably, you're probably the odd duck out just trying to get people it's, to drink craft. Yeah. <laughs> this it wouldn't actually be a bad beer to bring to a situation like that. You would not only get something tasty, but hopefully you can convince somebody else to drink it and yeah. go and yeah. maybe maybe that'd be their gateway beer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a good way, gateway Christmas beer, I'd say. Yeah. Christmas is the time to get people to try new things. Yeah. You know, this could also go well too with a with a very sweet dessert. Yeah. yeah. Mellow it out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, now that's over. Well, this next one I know is going to be good. So one of the weeks that you were gone, we discussed uh, one of the Prairie Artisan beers, and they're out of Oklahoma. I didn't know that. That's a state. That is very good, Troy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> in the in the Midwest slash South. Yeah. Oklahoma, yeah. you can have an open container in the vehicle as long as you're not driving. Can you really? So they actually have no. coolers built to go in the back of trucks so you can just slide open the little windows and oh, pull yeah. beers out. Yeah. And that's probably the only state I can think of that's more like, because Wisconsin's pretty much, yeah, beers, have as many as you want. We don't right. care. It's probably the more, even well, more chill in Wisconsin. Well, see, there's trees and stuff here. There's a lot of things in Wisconsin. Yeah. Oklahoma. Tornadoes. There's, well, you're not going to hit a, a tornado. According and if you and if you do, you know, well, it's that's done. You're done then. Yeah. According to the movie Twister, there's just tornadoes around every corner. <laughs> Absolutely. With you, you can go get one. Yes. So this is a Prairie Artisan Ale's Christmas Bomb. It's a Imperial Stout with spices. Ooh. And it's got is, a lot of nice cartoons on the bottle, that which spice, we all like. That spice note on the nose is fantastic. That should be Ooh. a candle. That should be a. Oh. You walked into. I keep touching this thing. And walk into a room smells like that. I'd be a fan of that room. Yeah, yeah. Someday you'll learn how to use a mic. <laughs> Over a decade, I've been working with these things. You know, I figure the longer we do this, the better you'll get. No. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> either either that, or you'll entertain. You, either that, or you entertain people with how terrible you are at you, it. <laughs> you know, if anything, I should be a source of inspiration there. Look at that guy. Twelve if, twelve years, still can't figure it out. That guy can get twenties of views on YouTube. <laughs> you can too. <laughs> The guy's hair is weird. I don't know what's going on. You know what, Troy? You know you know things about beer and people like that. That's good. Yeah, I like the smell of this of this beer. I a like lot, the though. taste of this beer. It tastes almost like a gingerbread cookie. Oh, that is fantastic. This is probably the best beer of the night, uh, by far, in my opinion. Yeah. When it comes, if if we're going for a Christmas <clears throat> beer, that's going to put you in a uh, a seasonal mood. So I would say if if uh, if your family is not of the craft beer ilk, you know, definitely go for the one in the middle of the reindeer beer. Um, and if you got IPA drinkers, you know, get get the IPA. 
But those of you that really, really love craft beer and have a very, very high appreciation for it, because this does not come cheap either. I think this was a $9 bottle. Mm. I should be sipping it more. Yeah, right? You gotta tell me these Savor things. Savor it. <laughs> <laughs> when you're like, I noticed I was a big prairie, drinker. Was, prairie, <laughs> prairie artisan beers are not really cheap anyway. So. It appeared to me you are kind of gulping that beer. <laughs> Let's slow it down, son. So uh, I would say make sure that you're sharing this with somebody who's really, really going to appreciate it. I'm actually on team just drink it yourself. Do that. Stocking stuffer. Especially you if, you're at your, stocking. if you're at your mother-in-law's house. We all know that. You know, <laughs> Get one of them. Yeah. <sighs> My in-laws always just bring more beer. It's okay. So. My mother-in-law doesn't watch these. <laughs> my 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 mother-in-law does. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly. Kelly, we're gonna give another shout out, guys. How's it going? <laughs> my parents don't watch this. Oh. But my no. in-laws do. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have that. I, I just taught my parents how to run YouTube like a year ago. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to go down that so road. So we might we might get twos and threes of views yet. <laughs> we just. <laughs> With my, I just got my mom to figure out how to attach a, a document to an email. Yes. So we're winning there. Getting there. Yeah. Absolutely. Little paper clips hard. <laughs> uh, so those are our Christmas beers. Don't be surprised if we have a few more Christmas beers because there were some other ones that I that I left out there. Found that, tantalizing. Um, I did. I uh, I figured we'd only go with three this time though, so we weren't going to go too crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll definitely uh, have. You know, Christmas stuff around next week, and none of this is. You know, I don't have it decorated down here yet. No, I just yeah. didn't have time. But I did have time to get Christmas beers, so nah, that's more important. To be honest with you, I'd yeah. rather have the Christmas spirit in me than on the walls. Right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, if you haven't already done it, uh, find us on Facebook, like us on there, and we'd love to hear from you. And uh, find us on Instagram and Twitter and all those other good social medias and. Go on YouTube and click that little bell because Alex wants you to do it. You know what? And and don't forget about the hot passport. All of the information will be down in the description. We below. should make a competition. If we can get enough people to sign up, Alex will be on an episode. Alex yeah. doesn't want to be on the show because he's he's afraid of this well, side he's, of he's the been camera. On, he's been on here a few times. I did one episode. You probably didn't watch it. No, eh, probably not. Yeah, Troy doesn't watch these. I'm old. <laughs> I'm not, I might never had a computer for more than 10 minutes. I don't want your excuses. I'm out. I'm anyway, out. until next week, where we'll probably talk about more beer and more musicians that Troy doesn't know. Oh, naming musician. I'll see if I know it. <laughs> I can't think of anything right now. Greg Zappa. <laughs> Greg, Greg Zappa. Uh, Su- Super Tramp. You ever heard of them? Super Tramp, the band? Yeah. They did uh, Super Freak, right? No. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We'll see you next week. Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.